in Peking University. Uh, our paper is about boosting gradient boosting decision tree to higher dimensions. Um, it is joint work with CTI Zurich and uh, Tencent in Croatia. So first I will talk about the background. Gradient boosting decision tree, GPT for short, is an ensemble machine learning model uh, widely used in academia, industry, and uh, data science platforms such as Kaggle. GPT uses the boosting strategy that trains a set of regression trees to improve performance. When predicting the training data, GPT sums the prediction of all trees. For example, the prediction of this man is the output of the first tree 5 plus the second tree 5. The training method of GPT starts from the root tree node and greatly splits tree nodes with a top down manner. The core state structure is called the gradient histogram. Uh, the S axis is the feature value, the Y axis is the grain sum of training data for into a uh, value range. The training procedure of GPT contains three main steps. First, we read all the training data and uh, uh, propose several candidate splits for each feature. The mainstream method is called quantile sketch. Second, build gradient histogram. Based on the candidate splits, we build gradient histogram. Uh, basically, we put first order and the second order gradients into the corresponding histogram buckets. Third, tree splitting. We scan the histogram from left to right and find the best split, giving the maximum loss gain according to the formula. So the size of a gradient histogram is 2 multiplied by the number of features and the number of splits. We find that the performance of existing distributed systems decreased with high dimensional data sets. So we ask the question, what are reasons behind the bottomless of existing systems for high dimensional data and how can we face it? We find that the reasons are twofold. First, in histogram construction, the traditional method needs uh, the values of all features, so high dimensionality leads to more computation cost. In tree splitting, Distributed GPT leads to merge local gradient histograms on workers. Uh, since the size of gradient histogram is proportional to the data dimensionality, higher dimensionality leads to more communication cost. So how to solve the challenges in histogram construction and tree splitting? In histogram construction, the challenge is high com computation cost. With this scenario, the first question is how to build one single gradient histogram. Considering that high dimensional data sets are generally sparse, we propose a sparsely well method that only access the long zero features instead of all the features so we can reduce the commission cost. After building one single histogram, we let's study how to build gradient histogram in parallel. A think about tree structure. As the tree goes deeper, we have more tree nodes, and tree nodes in one layer can be processed in parallel. We design a lot to instance index. Each tree node has a range in the index, so we can directly find the training data on that tree node. We further study how to build one green stream parallel. The motivation is that the first few tree nodes in a tree have many instances. Uh, for example, the root tree nodes uh, has all the, tree, all the training data. To address this problem, we propose a parallel batch training method uh, since each tree node has a range in the load to instant index, we divide the range into batches and process mini batches in parallel. After histogram construction, the last operation is tree splitting, and the challenge is high communication cost. First and first, how to merge local histograms on workers? This involves the underlying system architecture, such as MapReduce, Reduce, and Parent Server. We chose Parent Server since it has been proven to be efficient for high-dimensional cases. Then how to transfer histograms through the network? Transferring the original histogram can be very expensive. We choose to compress the histogram with quantization. So basically, we transfer uh, each floating point type item in the histogram with a two one byte in binary representation. After merging the histogram, the last decision is how to assign splitting tasks to workers. As three nodes in one layer can be processed simultaneously, we design a task scheduler that uses a round-robin strategy to 
assign all tasks uh, among all the workers. And when receiving a splitting task, one, tree, one worker needs to find the best read from the green histogram. The green histogram is partitioned over several servers, and pulling the entire green histogram is expensive. Uh, to address this problem, we, we propose a two-phase split approach. In the server phase, the server finds a local candidate from the histogram partition, uh, including the feature index, the feature value, and the loss gain, and send it to the worker. In the worker phase, the worker chooses the best one from all the candidates. Here's the system overview of uh, Danboost. We have servers, workers, and the training data sets. I will show how Danboost works. We partition the data set to workers, build a histogram with multi threads, and send a histogram to servers after compression. The scheduler assigns tasks to workers. Each worker uses the two phase tree splitting to find the split rule of tree nodes, uh, with which we update the tree structure and uh, the low two instance index. The index will be used in the last iteration of histogram construction. Let's use our experiments. We use three data sets to compare man's dam boost with MLD, edge boost, and the latter GBM. RCV1 is a public data set. Synthesis is an artificial data set, and gender is a real data set from Tencent with up to uh, one third million uh, features. We use two clusters. Class 1 has 10 machines. Class 2 has 15 machines. On the general data set and class 2, we gradually add our tag list and show the performance change. As the results show, the out-proposed method can significantly improve performance. We can build one tree within 40 seconds. Then we'll show the end-to-end the -end performance of four systems. On all three data sets, our system then boost achieved the best performance. It is up to nine times faster than the baselines. And we also find that the histogram compression does not harm the model accuracy. To conclude our work, we study distributability in this work. In histogram construction and the tree splitting, we propose a series of tag lists. By combining these tag lists, we implement then boost a distributability system and achieve up to nine times improvement. So thanks. Any questions? Thanks for your talk. Okay. So I want to, I have one question. Okay. Uh, have you compared with a single machine multi-threading setting? Yeah, so uh, we, in our paper, uh, on a small data set, we compare the single load um, implementation, and we find that our system still outperform the state of the art. Uh, yeah. How many times outperform? Our uh, single, uh, it's not so large um, compared with the distributed uh, experiments. It's about two times improvements. Great, okay. thank you. Okay, thank you.